In this video, we will discuss Nancy Fotheringham Cato's poem, The Road. The Road is about a thrilling car ride where the person driving feels like they have complete control over everything around them, including time. They are driving toward the sun and thinking about their place in the vast universe. This journey symbolizes moving towards hope and leaving behind despair. The poem starts with the narrator confidently talking about how they can control the moon and time itself. But we soon realize that this feeling of control comes from the car going really fast and the view outside being blurry. As the poem goes on, it vividly describes the car ride and how different it is from darkness they left behind. This shows that this journey is not just about moving physically, but also about moving through time. The poem ends by reminding us that their ultimate goal is the sun, something they can never reach, emphasizing that their pursuit is endless, like chasing something they can never catch. This poem is taken from Cato's book, the Dancing Bow, published in 1957. The poem starts with the word I, which shows that it's about one person's connection to the world and time. The narrator says, they made the moon go backward, which means they see the moon and the darkness it brings as enemies. By making the moon go backward, they suggest they can control not only the moon, but also time, which is connected to how the moon moves. The poem talks about how time seems to stand still while the narrator is moving fast, showing that they believe they are not limited by time. Cato uses certain sounds to make you read slowly, just like the narrator feels they can control how time passes. The author compares the stars to a bunch of insects either to show that the narrator can control nature or to show how amazed they are by the many stars. This emphasizes that the narrator can change how time works, making night turn into day. This might symbolize how everything blurs when you drive fast, making it feel like you are going through time. In the third stanza of the poem, the night is compared to a long black carpet which makes it seem dark and not very nice. This comparison also suggests that the narrator can move through the night just like they can move through physical space in their car. This strengthens their belief that they can control time just like they control their car on the road. The last line of this stanza talks about how there is a bright path ahead of the car but darkness is left behind. This means that the car and the driver or in a kind of in-between place, not completely in the light or the dark. It shows that they feel like they are beyond control or influence. As the poem goes on, it talks about the things the narrator sees through the car's windshield as they drive really fast. The first line of this stanza uses words that sound like speed to make you feel like the car is moving quickly. It also compares telephone poles to ears, which means the narrator is mixing up objects they see with ideas about time. This blurs the line between things they can touch and time, making it feel connected. In the last stanza of the poem, it becomes clear that the poem is mixing up the things the narrator sees with big ideas like life and time. This makes the narrator's journey seem like a spiritual change from darkness to light, not just a physical change from night to day. There might be some irony in the focus on the coming dawn because driving really fast at night can be dangerous. It could symbolize the light ahead like an afterlife that the narrator might reach if their reckless driving leads to a deadly accident.